This video will demonstrate how to reduce spasticity of the upper extremity using the BTL superinductive system. Examine the muscle tone of the patient's forearm to define spasticity of the wrist flexors. The therapy is done in two steps. First, the spastic muscles are treated. The therapy is done above the flexors of the wrist. Place the applicator above the area to be treated. The device is easily positioned by means of the six-joint arm, which allows for a precise setting. Proceed with selecting the protocol corresponding to the desired effect, spasticity reduction. In the first protocol section, an antispastic effect on the antagonistic muscle is achieved. It affects the spinal level of muscle tone control. In the second section, a facilitative effect on the antagonistic muscle is achieved. Furthermore, the protocol causes higher blood perfusion of the exposed region, which leads to circulation and trophic improvement. After pressing start, adjust the intensity to above the motor threshold. While doing so, communicate with the patient and adjust the intensity according to their feedback. Let the therapy run for one minute. Then press the pause key. Reposition the applicator for the second part of the therapy. This time the antagonistic extensor groups will be treated. Continue by pressing start and initiating the therapy again. The intensity has to be set again to above the motor threshold. In this part of the therapy, the antagonistic extensor muscles are facilitated. Together with the reciprocal inhibition of the flexors, spasticity reduction is achieved.